Folks, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Had to do some chores today, just some random stuff around the homestead. Gonna take you through that today. A lot of it with the Summit Tractor 2. Use a landscape rake, always a good handy tool to have around. So let's see how it goes. All right, so it's kind of, well, what is it? August 9th or 10th or something, 11th? August 12th? It's August 12th, well, time flying by. So anyway, I bought some broccoli seeds, want to put those in the garden for the fall, and now's the time to do that. And uh, garden's kind of got away from me this year. I was actually doing pretty good with the weeds for a while, and then we went on vacation, and it just kind of, it just had a snowball effect. Watermelons and pumpkins are actually coming in pretty good, even with all those weeds there. I did some test spots with the, the clethodim, clethodim um, to see if that would kill the plants and try to kill some grasses, and that actually worked well. You'll see some, there's some, there's some dead grasses that are all throughout there. Uh, did a good job and didn't kill the plants around there, but at this point, I'm probably just gonna let it go. Uh, seems like the fruit's doing okay. The corn is a whole other story. But anyway, we're just gonna do one strip of broccoli. You know, the kids are having fun, even though it's a weedy mess, it's still fun to go out there and look at uh, the watermelons and the pumpkin and all that kind of thing. And, and they love to see them grow and can't wait to, to eat the watermelon and have the pumpkins for fall. So gonna be a good time there. We're gonna do the same thing with the broccoli. Hopefully we can stay on top of the weeds a little bit more with that too. And in a couple months, we'll see what we have to harvest. So anyway, uh, grass is pretty long there. I figured I'd, I'd zip out the zero turn mower and give that a few passes just to shorten it up a bit and then run the disc through there. And I think the, the interesting thing to note is well, maybe Chris can get a side-by-side -side from uh, the first time we were working this garden up, which was just a field this spring, we worked it up compared to now, but that soil just looks thicker and richer and, and like it has more organic matter in it, I guess. Maybe that's all the grasses and weeds that we kind of chopped up and, and worked in the soil early on um, already doing this thing, but uh, I was just pretty impressed after I turned that soil on what it looked like. But it just looked darker and richer is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. So anyway, had another opportunity to hook up the disc on the Summit TX25, and, and that did just fine. You can tell it's taxing it like anything does when it's going uphill, um, but that's, you know, that's just kind of par for the course there, so you take your time. Could have broken out the tiller. I don't know. I, I don't know. The disc is kind of growing on me a little bit. I still like tillers a lot, um, but it was easy to hook up just to the three point and do that little strip there, so that was easy enough. And so thinking about it now, this is a good example of when you can use different size tools on a tractor, all right? And so I was using a four foot disc, which is really the right size disc for this machine, but I'm using a 72 inch landscape rake. And, and they're just a different tool, right? A disc is ground engaging, put a lot of resistance, a lot of strain on the tractor itself and on the engine, whereas a rake is really kind of just riding along the surface and you're not digging down into the soil or anything else and, and it'll work the soil. I mean, you can load these things up with stone and, and with, uh, with dirt if you want to and really bog them down. But um, the other reason why on something like a landscape rake, it's good to go wider is because sometimes you're gonna run that at an angle, right? You can pitch those things, um, or angle them, I should say, left or right. And so when you do so, just like a front plow blade, it's gonna narrow up the overall width. And so you wanna have something a bit wider. That way, if you do narrow it up, it's still covering your tire tracks. And RimGuard is our new channel sponsor, and we are so happy to have them on board because they align with our goals as well of preaching tractor safety. And RimGuard is a liquid ballast solution. It goes right inside your tires. It's a beet juice byproduct, all right? And so not only is it gonna add physical pounds, hundreds of pounds of weight to the backside of your tractor that are gonna aid in traction or power to the ground, but they're also gonna stabilize your tractor, make it safer to operate, and they're gonna optimize the loader performance by keeping those rear wheels planted lifting up as much weight as you possibly can with that front end loader when you need it. And get this, Summit tractors come with rim guard in the rear tires right out of the factory because they know the importance of getting right to work. And so a few things to pay attention to when I'm doing this area and what we're doing, we had uh, a tree service come in. There was a bunch of dead trees that um, one had already fallen down and smashed a light uh, on a post here. And so I wanted to get the rest of these dead trees down. And, and I said, I can get the logs and the cleanup all taken care of. If you can just get them safely on the ground. We have the road here, we have power lines, uh, you know, the, the gate and everything else. So I didn't want all that to get whacked. And dead trees are just kind of dangerous anyways. So slapped on the landscape rake and pay attention to how aggressive that is on the lawn. And we're coming in, you know, fall the best time to overseed and everything's coming up soon anyway. So I figured if I did some lawn damage now, it wasn't gonna be the end of the world. And you're gonna see there is definitely lawn damage. And that's uh, one of the reasons that we offer the Dethatcher rake as well, which is a, a spring tooth um, or a spring tine, uh, a rake bar that we have, which is a lot lighter duty than a landscape rake. And so the, the Dethatcher, I think, 
because I had driven over a lot of this stuff and kind of buried it down into the into the grass and the sod a bit, I don't think that the Thatcher rake was the right tool because of that. And so I wanted to throw in the landscape rake and really kind of dig out as much of that stuff as I could. And it worked well, but the trade-off is the fact that you do cause some lawn damage, some turf damage. That's a trade-off I guess you have to make on, on what way you want to go with something lighter that maybe isn't going to get every last uh, little thing or some of those deeper buried sticks and nuts and whatever else you might have or go with a heavier duty tool like a landscape rake and that's really not a decision I can make but I guess at least you have options. And so this is the first time I actually decided to throw a rake on backwards at least that I can recall. I've, I've uh, never you know driven backwards and pushed along with it and actually that worked surprisingly well and the downside is of course just like a three-point blower you have to turn around and kind of, pay, kind of pay attention to what you're doing and you're driving backwards and steering um, so that's the downside but it, it actually works really well driving backwards and pushing along with this rake versus uh, pulling along which is I guess at least what I think of as the natural position. But we've shown you lots of different uses for these landscape rakes with maintaining your trails, with cleaning up areas, grading out a gravel driveway, all sorts of things that you can do with one of these and it shows that it's a relatively inexpensive tool that has a lot of versatility and that's why it's pretty high up on my list of tools. So this was a pretty small area and maybe we could have just spent time with a rake and doing it by hand but it was more to show you what the tool is all about and how it can perform in yet another situation. And so I'm glad it was a small job because I am on E right now. Got the fuel way back there but uh, I was hoping we didn't run out. I was just kind of pushing my luck. I like to do that sometimes. Uh, but if you are in the market for a rake, Dirt Dog, we sell them. We ship them all over the country. They are made in America. You can get them 60, 72, 84, 96 inches wide. So if you have a huge tractor, you know, a big old compact or even a small utility, you can use it on there. Uh, like the 1025s, the subcompacts, go with a 60 inch rake on that. You know, you start to get to the kind of the two series, three series stuff, you know, 72 and 84 is great. So thanks for tagging along. Beautiful summer day out today in August. I mean, this is a little cool. It's, it, it just feels great to be outside. So. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. If you want to get more information on tractor tools that we can ship right to you, head to goodworkstractors.com. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.